Good day, YouTubers. I've always used transom savers on my boat, not because I think that they're going to save the transom as such. I don't think bouncing the engine up and down on the transom is going to do that much damage because the transom's designed to take the full force of the engine when it's pushing the boat along the water. But I am concerned that the hydraulics might fail one day, the engine will come down and hit the road and do a lot of damage, which will cost me a lot of money. And a small investment in a transom saver, make sure that that won't happen. I decided I'd get the My Wedge for my new base port because it's so small and convenient. So let's have a look and see what it's like. Most outboards come with something like this to prevent the engine from falling should the hydraulics fail. In the past, my outboards have been older, nearly all second hand, and these units haven't been well maintained, so they've either been extremely difficult to move, use, or been frozen solid so that you couldn't use them, hence, I've used transom savers. You put this on over here and then you just tip the motor down until it touches on the rubber and starts to compress a little bit. I just got to get the batteries on to be able to do that. Yeah, thanks for taking the time to watch this video. To be honest, I'm not sure what I think about the My Wedge at the moment. Now this transom saver is shorter, it lets the engine tilt down further than I'm used to, which puts the bottom of the engine closer to the road. I don't think it's too close to the road, but tilting it down further does lower the centre of gravity on the motor and it does put it back a little bit further away from the transom. And all that's going to combine with more strain on the transom. Now, I don't think it's going to be too much, but it is more than what I'm used to with transom savers I've used in the past. Having said that, I'm not using it to save the transom, I'm using it to stop the hydraulics failing and breaking the engine. It's probably going to be okay for that job. I'll use it for a while, reserve judgment for the moment, and if I change my mind, I will put another video up. If you don't hear anything after a few months, then it's been okay and I'm still using it. My apologies for such a long-winded summary, but I did want to get that information across. If you'd like to see more of my videos, go to my YouTube channel. As time goes by, there's going to be more fishing videos there, which is what the channel was initially intended for. So until next time, good fishing.